Somebody just thank the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. You are worthy of my praise, God. You are worthy of my worship in every season. You are worthy, Lord. Naya so na 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 ye ne ya do so na 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 go sanda. You have brought us here to praise you. You have brought us here to behold you. Somebody just lift your voice unto the Lord. With all your heart, eh? you are our Lord, you are our King God. Eh? Only you deserve it, only you matter, Lord. Naya Sanda Da, oh, we lift our voices, oh, oh, oh. One thing that I enter the holy of holies, I enter through the blood of the Lamb. Lord, I enter, I enter to worship you only. I enter. I came as I am, I enter, I enter the holy of holies. To behold you, I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I am accepted, so I enter, I enter to worship you only. You are the focus. I enter to honor. Oh Lord, I worship. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Oh Lord, we worship you. As you are, oh, in the beauty of your holiness, in the beauty of your holiness, oh, my Father, I worship you, oh, I worship you, I worship you. Your name is holy. Your name. 
is holy, holy, my Lord. Oh, for your name, for your name is, it is hallowed in all the earth, Lord. Associated with the highest praise for your name is holy. You are holy than we know. You are holy than we can comprehend, Lord. Hey, but out of our mouths you have ordained your praise. So we sing for your name is holy. For your name is holy. For your name. Holy Lord, all oh, ye young and old, for your name is holy, for your name is holy, oh, holy, holy Lord. So we sing, Holy. privilege to worship you you're the maker of all universe to the privilege to stand before you holy holy God To the privilege to worship your name, maker of all universe. Tis an honor just to stand before you with a grateful heart. I You lift up those hands, proclaim, Lord, you reign. No matter how old you are, come on, whoa, with a grateful heart, we lift our hands to you, Lord. Proclaim, Lord, you reign. Sing it again, oh, with a grateful heart, with a grateful heart, we lift. Our hands to you proclaim the Lord. Oh, Lord, with a grateful 
heart just for being here lord my hands proclaim lord proclaim lord you reign lord you Greatly to be praised, your royalty is a heavy father, 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 yeah. Are you Lord? Greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, father, you reign, father, you reign, great are you. Sing great, we will sing great. Great are you, Lord. You want nothing than great. Eh, eh, eh. Great are you, Lord. That is why you sit. That is why you are. You are great. You are great. Great are you. Looking at our lives. Hey. Looking at the things we can do, great are you, Lord. We thank you for the investment of grace. We thank you for the investment of blessing, the investment of strength in us. Great are you, Lord. You are great. Oh, great, great are you. was slain for our sins we are like you now you put yourself in us forever forever you are great 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 Oh, great are you, Lord. You 
Tua grace We love because you first loved us Great are you And all the great and mighty things we do Can be done in your name Oh Somebody just worship your Lord Just worship your Savior I see yes Just praise your strength and I see yes Come as you are Come to the throne of grace And behold him And behold him Worship him with everything that you've done. Worship him with everything that you have. Oh, 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 no matter who you are, he invites you in. No matter who you are, he qualifies you to come in. Come and behold him. Come and become like him. Come and be perfected. Come and be glorified. Oh, all the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of the Lord, my place of strength. My place of refuge, oh, great are you, Lord. We sing every knee will bow down, oh, and every tongue will confess Jesus Christ. Come on, church. in the heavens, in the earth, in the sea, and under the sea, we'll say, we'll say, we'll say, every circumstance, hey, one more time, sing, every knee will bow down, oh, just watch and see, just watch and see, and every time we'll confess, Begin now, praise him. You are Lord. Hey. Somebody cry out, sing God, God. He's the champion. He reigns forevermore.
of glory is approaching. Make way. Make way. Break out. Can't you see the King of glory coming? In his glory. In his light. In his power. In his love. In his healing. In his fire. Sing God must be. Here, Holy Spirit, how now have an open, open, open. Take a few seconds to rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. What can be against us? Hey, you have won the victory. We give you the honors of a victorious soldier, Jesus. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. So our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Oh, my God, personalize it. My God, sing, my God is greater. He's stronger. It is proof. It is proof. Hey! For the last time, our God is great and strong. Our God is strong. God, you are higher and higher. My God is healer. Awesome in power. Under the sun, he has done it before. Hey. One more time, and if I got who could ever stop us, and if I got, I got, and if I got who could ever stop us, could ever stop us, and I got. Rejoice in the victory of the Lord for your life. Thank Him that you are here. Thank Him that your position is that of a victor because He has already won it. 
give him the honors of a victorious soldier. Praise is the highway to victory. Hey! What you have said you will do in our lives, she will do it. You are standing, so we will stand. You are strong forever, so our strength lasts forever. Beyond this life, because you are hope forever. Our hope is beyond this life. Our hope extends to the Yosa. Somebody give God glory and praise in this house this morning. Are you not excited to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? Give the Lord a shout. This morning we want to minister a song, a very simple song to learn. The title of my song is My Response. And we just want to tell God that forever our posture will be hallelujah. Because he has rescued us and will forever be grateful. Amen.
of laughter. It is your month of singing, dancing, joy, and peace. You have to receive it. Somebody shout, it's the month of laughter. It's my month of surprises. It's my month of celebration. It's my month of breaking forth. to church today to remind somebody of the scripture we have been reading in Psalm 2 verse 4 that he who sits in heaven laughs he who sits in heaven I don't know about you but when I say God I'm not talking about an idol I'm not talking about I'm talking about Adonai I'm talking about Jehovah. I'm talking about the God of the Bible. He said he sits in heaven and he laughs. So, sometimes all the songs we sing, because it's like we are comparing. There is no comparison. There is nobody like our God. Because they make the music they can use the same G word. But there's only one God who sits in heaven, who created the heavens and the earth. His name is Jehovah. He is Adonai. He is El Shaddai. He is Elohim. There is none like him. And you better be sure that's the God that is in your heart. And we know him because we have received him through the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't ever let anybody deceive you to thinking that you are serving some some half-paid God. What, what are you talking about? There is nobody like our God. I don't even like there's no God like our God. The other ones, I don't know. They must find some other name for them. Because when you're talking God, G-O-D, the all in all is only one. It's only one. It's only one. He who sits in heaven laughs. This morning I was coming to church. Me, I'm fired up. Oh. I'm fired up. I woke up with something in my spirit. And I wrote it down. Because the person there is there. But I said, there are some things that only God can do. Only God. There are some things that only God can do. Only God can part the Red Sea. It means that there are some doors that only God can open. It means there are some places only God can take you there. There are some schools only God can take you there. There are some countries only God can take you there. There are some people only God can cause you to meet them. There are some diseases only God can heal them. There are some dead things only God can raise them. There are some famines that only God can clear them. There are some things that only God can do. And so when the Bible says that God sits in heaven and he laughs, he laughs because when he looks at what people are doing, it's like, have you forgotten that I am the only God and I can do all things? So before you may sit down today, I want to remind you that this God that we serve, there are three dimensions about him that are common only to him. Only he is omnipotent, all-powerful. Only God. Yeah, it's a good place to clap. There are some things, if you're watching me online, hear me well. You must know about the God you serve. Only he is omnipotent. Only he is omniscient. He knows everything. He is the end and the beginning. He is the beginning, the end, everything in between. Only God knows everything. The devil pretends to know. But only God who sits in heaven knows everything. He knows everything about your life. Everything about your future. And only God is omnipresent. And that is why you can be sitting in Ofanko today. 
and the omnipresent God has already gone ahead of you into the other nations that you must land in before your time is up. Ay, 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 ay. So, so th that is why we laugh because there is nothing that God cannot do. You, you, you see how Sister Kess has dressed today and now say how, come on man, chano mame, chano mame, but she is announcing that we serve an international God in Makali Kapaya Kolobo Shayadaba. When you dress it, you will step there. When you dress it, you will step there. Makala Makaya Kalalalalaba. Omnipresent. 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 That is why when God gives you a revelation and says, take a map and start praying over it, don't joke over such things. Don't joke. Don't joke. I woke up this morning with a song, Adonai, in my spirit. So I'll be like, keep on, you'll just be playing that as you are ministering the word this morning. You see, one of the things about your faith that you must hold very dear is your knowledge and understanding of the God you serve. Do you know God? Do you believe in what He can do? Oh, I'm asking. Do you know God? Do you believe in what He can do? We are sure of power, which you No shaking. No shaking. No doubting. So even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because I know this about my God that his rod and his staff will comfort me. That after I have come through, what did Apostle Daniel say? After I have come through the valley, I will now sit at the table that he has prepared before me. You see, what will give you hope in this wicked world? What will keep your faith standing in this dark world? What will keep you believing God on your knees rather than chase a sugar daddy or sugar mommy is that you believe God and you believe what God has testified about himself. Somebody pray in the spirit for one minute. You want to pray in the spirit that your, your spirit will receive the word of God this morning. Let this morning mark a turning point in your life. Let something happen to your face this morning. Father, let your word do something in my spirit this morning. Makala <laughs> Somebody watch that 
Psalm 4, verse 1 to 4. Let's read it together. What our daddy has declared is a key that you must carry in this life if you will not be destroyed by the things that destroy men. Hear me well. If you will not be destroyed by the things that destroy nations, understand this key of laughter. I beg your pardon, Psalm 2, verse 1 to 4. Psalm 2, verse 1 to 4. Makiya Koshete. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? Let's move it. We are reading to verse 4. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. The, the kings, the rulers, they gather. The devil and his forces, they gather. They, try, they are mocking God and the anointed of God. The anointed of God is the Christ. But you also are the anointed of God. They take counsel. They, 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 they take decisions against us and say, let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cause from us let us do everything to destroy their lives let's destroy their plans their plans will not stand and let's cast away their cause from us let's destroy the influence of these christians let's silence them let's let's make their words not interesting let's shut their mouth let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cause from us now hear the response of your god verse 4 he who sits in the heavens shall laugh. Ah, the Lord Adonai shall hold them in derision. Derision means ridicule. It's, it's like what, what kind of ridiculous conversation are these people having? You see how God responds to the enemy? He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Look, God is seated in heaven, oh. Where is your God? He is seated in heaven. Psalm 115, isn't it verse 3 or 4? He said, He is in heaven. He does what He pleases. God is not asking for permission to bless you. God is not asking for permission to establish your destiny. He does it all by himself. Because that is what he has decided to do. I came with good news for somebody this morning. That God will make you laugh. Hey, you, you will laugh. You will look at your life and say, Hey, it's a there is a mepamine blessing coming upon somebody who believes that their God sits in heaven. Hey, don't, don't be confused at any time by what the economy is saying, by, by, by what people are saying, by what your village is saying, by what your current 
single room is saying, no, 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 no. Ay, 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 makele makata ya dada. When Joseph's brothers were plotting against him, why do the nations rage? The, 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 the kids imagine a vain thing. Their thoughts are vanity. His brother said, let us kill him and let's see what will become of his dreams. The devil said, let me, let me give her some bad dreams so that she'll be afraid. Let me mess up this opportunity so that he will believe that God is not faithful. He who sits in heaven he who sits in heaven, our God who sits in heaven shall laugh. And I read in the New Testament that me too, I am seated in heavenly places. Hey, he who sits in heaven shall laugh. If you are seated in heavenly places in Christ, then as God is laughing, you too, you are laughing. You are laughing at famine and you are laughing at destruction. Give me Job chapter 5, the verse 22. Famine. Great hunger. Verse 22. Great lack. It will come. Destruction. It will come. COVID-19 will come. Economic wala. It will come. But you shall laugh at destruction and famine and you shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. In fact, rewind the scripture. Go to verse 19. Read your Bible well and see the heritage of the sons of God. Don't let anybody deceive you that when you lift up your voice to pray to God, when you sow your seed at the altar, you are wasting your time. Makalamada. This God, he shall deliver you in six troubles. Yes, in seven. No evil shall touch you. And if there's a believer in the house, you read with me. Verse 19, verse 20 now. In famine, he shall redeem you from death. In fact, personalize the idea, no for me, no shall. Let's read it again. Number 20, go. In famine, he shall redeem me from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. It means the sword is there, but it has no power over you. Verse 21. I shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. And say, who no na ankro fo kika kika no. And say, basa basa na ankro fo kika kika no. They mean to speak so that your spirit will be, you will, will be downcast. They will say something so that you'll be discouraged. I shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue and I shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes. Ayadi Ado Selebaya. Why? Because your God, Adonai, He is seated where? In heaven. Do we what? Laughing at them. So I shall laugh at destruction and famine and I shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth this I get to encourage somebody this morning because well sometimes I know some of you sometimes you think about the future and in some way two of us sometimes you think about it like hey so how is this thing going to be God why is it that my life is like this why am I going through all these challenges but God wants you to know that he has given you the upper hand over famine, the upper hand over destruction, the upper hand over war. That is what it means to laugh as a child of God. It means you must, you have the upper hand. Don't be afraid of the one who is laughing at the beginning of the situation. <laughs> God always has the last laugh. God always, always, always 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 that sometimes I may look like the most disadvantaged but by the time God has finished with me yeah I remember that I remember when I was doing my national service people were being posted to banks and big big places they posted me to what Institute of African Studies it has no relation with the course I read. It's like, who can I then? 
And when I could meet some of my classmates, and in fact, the way you talk, you can realize that they are laughing at you. Like, oh, so you two want to your connection, pop a beer. So they'll post you somewhere. But he who sits in heaven shall laugh. So I went where God sent me. Finished the national service. Say service, New Year. Some of those who were posted to big places, they finished service, they didn't take them. They finished national service in what? Is it June, July? July, there are about. August is like leave. 2nd October. I was employed as one of 10 management trainees in Standard Chartered Bank. What are you talking about? No, this God, we have known him. Oh. When we stand here to talk to you, we have known this God. We have known this God. So it, it's not about today. It's about the fact that my faith is in him who sits in the heavens. My confidence is in God. Who, where is your confidence? Where is your confidence? Who do you believe in? Ah, you are writing that as a... Where, where is your confidence? In God. In God. In God. Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, in fact, give us in the King James. That's why I agree with Pastor Clement. The King James, no, I the power. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. God has the power to turn again. God has the power to turn every situation around. Me, I'm big on demonstrations. Eh? God has the power to do what? Turn, 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 turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. God has the power to turn it. Hey, some people are, are turning, so you can't turn. Hey, I said God has the power to turn it. Sometimes, eh, you must action the word. <laughs> When you are praying and the situation is looking very black, then you take that black thing, and you stand before God and say, God, you are still seated in heaven. You have not yet come down. You are still in heaven. And you are still omnipotent, still omnipresent, still omniscient. Father, this is what I am dealing with. Tell us. May God turn around every negative situation, everything that has caused you sorrow, everything that has caused you pain. In this season of laughter, may Jehovah turn it around when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. Hey, will send We were like them that dream. Look, God delights in the laughter of his children. He wants you to be happy. Don't ever think that God is some old man in heaven with a cane and he's just beating you, do this, do this, do this, and he wants to punish you because you did the wrong thing. No, no, no. God delights in the laughter of his children. Verse 2. Verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. When God turned our captivity, when he turned the situation, when he gave me the testimony, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing. Look, in the month of laughter, you better sing, oh, find a new song to sing. In the morning, sing. In the afternoon, sing. In the evening, sing. At midnight, sing again. Then said, hey, I love this one. He said, look, the testimony was so evident. The turnaround was so evident that they said among the hidden, the unbelievers in fact said, hey, is that Rehoboth? Is that, uh, is that Rehoboth? Hey, the Lord has done great things for her. 
I am very serious. I, I came to declare to somebody. And look, don't you talk with the things we say from here. I'm a kaya koshaya. In some years to come, you will not recognize your life. You will not recognize yourself. You will look at where you are and say, ah, how did I get here? How did this happen to me? How did I marry this great man? How did this wonderful woman become my wife? The heathen, the unbeliever said, the Lord has done great things for them. May you receive a blessing that is so big that unbelievers will declare the testimony on your behalf. By the time Joseph began to prophesy in Egypt and declare the wisdom of God, the unbelievers looked at him. Pharaoh, an unbelieving king, said that the Spirit of God is in you. May unbelievers testify that God is at work in your life. Verse 3. Then we too will say, The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. By the end of April, this month, this month, this month, uh, may you come and testify in the house of the Lord. Come and testify what God has done. Come and testify about the change of mind. Come and testify about your change of location. The Lord will do something for you and make you glad. Look, God delights in the prosperity of his children. He delights in the laughter of his children. And you see, his timing is such that uh, you will always have the last laugh. May you hold on to these scriptures. In the name of the Lord Jesus, when you are going through a storm, remember that the Lord has the power to turn it. When you are going through difficulty, remember that the Lord has power to what? To turn it. He who sits in heaven laughs. What did I tell you at the beginning? There are some things only God can do. So two types of laughter. The first one comes by the blessing, the surprise blessing. The, the surprise miracle. So one way God will make you laugh is that he will give you something you have waited for for a long time. Do you believe that God can work miracles? Receive a miracle in the name of Jesus. A miracle in your home. A miracle for your family. Believe it and receive it in the name of Jesus. That in this month of laughter, our Father Pastor Clement stood here on Wednesday and declared, Surprises are coming. Receive your surprise. Receive it, receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Me this week, God surprised our family. Eh? End of the month, 28th, now the testimony now by year. But when the Apostle Clement Antibas stands here and declares, catch it and receive it. Surprises are falling. Listen to what Sarah said. Genesis 21, 5 to 7. Genesis 21, verse 5 to 7. Now Abraham was 100 years old. Let's go back to New King James. Now Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born to him. And Sarah said, God has made me laugh. Some of you, the business that you will run, eh, you say, God has made me laugh. The wife you will marry one day, you say, hey, God has made me laugh. The children you will give birth to one day, will be sure many sweet, sweet signs. You say, hey, God has made me laugh. <laughs> Sarah said, God has made me laugh. And all who hear will laugh with me. The way our brothers are me on the horse, he's standing in 
Pretoria by the president of South Africa. God will make you laugh. Hey, get ready for your breakthrough. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Go to the next verse, verse 7. She also said, pay attention to this phrase. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? It's like, Mabu Abriwasa Mawoda. Mabu Abriwa to the nonsense degree. Afedi Mawo. Who would have said? May you receive a who would have said miracle? Who would have said that Rami is the one carrying that contract? Who would have said? 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 Our God is a God of laughter and He makes His children laugh. And He delights in putting laughter in our mouths. In this lifetime, you will receive a who would have said miracle. And who would have said blessing? Who would have said that I'll be the next business woman that they are interviewing on GTV? Who would have said that I'll be the one holding crusades and bringing revival all across the country? Who would have said? Who would have said? Kalamakaya Kolomoshe. Who would have said that this generation will cross Fountain Gate Chapel to rise and rise and rise and become bigger, more effective, more evangelistic? Who would have said? Look at us. When God called us, not many were wise. But God has chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. God has decided that you are the one he will put his glory upon you. You, you say, I am the one. I am the one. Ah. Who would have said? And I will go for your throne of with them. Who would have said? <laughs> Who would have said that Joseph will be prime minister in Egypt? Who would have said? That the one persecuting the church will become the greatest apostle. Who would have said? Malika Lalala Mashada. That the true worshippers will release a sound out of Ofako and bless the whole world. Who would have said? Who would have said? <laughs> That the name of Faliga will become a household name. Who would have said? Aya. Makele makata yakalalalaba. Who would have said? Hey. So the psalmist understood this. David, David said, ah, who would have said that the shepherd boy will become king of Israel? So he would say, save the Lord with gladness. This God, about save him with what? Gladness. This God serve him with what? Gladness. Because he's a God who rewards big time. So that's the first kind of laughter that God will put a blessing on your life. And who would have said blessing? Who would have said? Who would have said that my days of weeping my days of sorrow there are some people here every night your pillow is wet with tears but God is turning it around he's turning it around he's putting laughter in your mouth who would have said that I'll become this happy that I'll become this joyful that it will be well with me like this because what God has done who would have said? You know, I've been following something on social media. You know how the world sometimes they think that believers, they are Indian and they are How many of you heard your philosophy got married this week? 
You see the woman. You see her well. Fire girl. The boy said, hey, the man has been campaigning in the spirit. And when did he open his eyes to see? But God wants to bless his children. Look, serve God with all your hearts. Because God wants to bless you. God wants to make you happy. God will put laughter in your mouth. He will give you a blessing. Everybody will have said that. How did, ah, how did she? No. Her and him. Him and that. This house and this person. Ah, but I know why he used to stay when he was young. How did he get? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Who would have said? Who would have said? Serve the Lord with gladness. Who would have said? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Ah. Who would have said? Who would have said? Receive a who would have said blessing from your father who is seated in heaven. I'm talking to somebody online. You stop going to church because you said God is not faithful. Ah. He who sits in heaven, he laughs oh, at the plans of the devil, at the workings of the enemy. Because at the end of the day, at the right time, when he arises in power, when he arises in strength, he will confound the horses and the chariots of Pharaoh and drown them in the sea. Your blessing is coming. Run back to church. Run back to God. Run back. Give your heart back to Jesus. Would have said, Malamakaya Kalalalaba. So that's the first kind of laughter. It comes because God has blessed you, said that. Hey, oh, sorry, she bless you. I say, Hey, how can this be? But the power of the highest will overshadow you and make it possible. I don't know what you are believing God for. But in this month of laughter, believe him big time and receive laughter in your mouth. God delights in the laughter, in the celebration of his children. In this house, we will celebrate. Oh, oh we will celebrate with you. I see your celebration coming forth in the name of Jesus. So when that testimony comes, don't shut it in your mouth. Come and declare it. I say a yeah, testimony Sunday. So that we will evidence the laughter that God has given us. Hallelujah. The second kind of laughter is what you read about in Psalm 2. It is the knowledge that I have the upper hand in every situation. So God who sits in heaven laughs because he has the upper hand. When he steps in, the kings, the rulers, they will be quiet. In fact, when you go home, read the whole of Psalm 2, you realize that Jesus cannot be stopped. The anointed one cannot be stopped. At the end of the scripture, he's advising the kings, you guys, you had better save me. Oh. It's better to be on the Lord's side. Because the Lord's side is the winning side. Hallelujah. The Lord's side is the winning side. Some people think that serving God is a waste of time and money. No. In this life and in the life to come, we are on the winning side. We are on the winning side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as I said earlier, God sits in heaven. He's seated upon the foundations of of the earth. Psalm 115 verse 3 write it down, keep that scripture our God is in the heavens he has done whatever he pleases. He does whatever he pleases. Our God. Hey, me, I'm very happy that my God is the one who is seated in heaven. As for my enemy, I don't know what God they are following, oh, but I am with the one who is seated in heaven. So at the final analysis I'm on the winning side. Who is on the Lord's side? Who is on the Lord's side? You are 
on the winning side. Tell yourself, I am on the winning side. I'm on the laughing side. I'm on the rejoicing side. Hallelujah. So the second aspect of that, number one, is that God has the upper hand. Because he's seated in heaven, he does whatever he pleases. But the second part is that because in Christ you are seated in heavenly places with him, you also have the upper hand. Say, I have the upper hand. I have the upper hand. So Pastor Isu shared this with us on Friday morning. Job chapter 5. Let's go back to the verse 22. Then we will end on that note. Job chapter 5 verse 22. You shall laugh at destruction and famine. And you shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You shall laugh at destruction and famine. Is the world hard sometimes? Yes. Do challenges come? Yes. In fact, some of the challenges are specially orchestrated to break your spirit, to break your faith, to discourage you, to wear you down. But God says you shall laugh at destruction and famine. In other words, in spite of the environment and the atmosphere and the circumstances, you will laugh, you will have the victory, you will have the upper hand. Two examples. Number one, Joseph. God planted Joseph in Egypt at the time that a very serious famine was coming. And God gave Joseph wisdom. So two things that I spoke about and I heard it, I said, this one is for the youth. So I'm repeating it. Two things. Number one, you need wisdom. And number two, you need obedience. Wisdom and obedience. The language of laughter. What will cause you to be laughing when others are crying? Number one, wisdom. God gave Joseph wisdom. In fact, he told Pharaoh in Genesis 41, from 31 downwards, that it is God who is giving me the interpretation into this dream. But do you remember that Joseph didn't just tell Pharaoh what the dream meant, that seven years of plenty are coming, followed by seven years of famine. What did he do? What was more important was that he gave him the wisdom, the solution for what to do. He said, in the seven years of plenty, gather. And then in the seven years of famine, you will have enough to feed your people so that you know that. Everybody shout wisdom. 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 Children of God, what will keep you laughing in the case of famine that will come from any corner of this life, whether it's a famine economically, a famine in terms of what you eat, whatever famine you will face in your future, if you walk with the wisdom of God, you will laugh. If you walk with the wisdom of God, the ideas that are dropped from heaven will cause you to stand tall and when others are crying, you will be the one delivering everybody. Hear me well. And that's why I say you need this key. It's a key. Somebody say it's a key. That in the season of famine, <laughs> Joseph was not begging like others were begging. In fact, everybody came to beg him because he had the wisdom of God. May you receive the wisdom of God and pray every day, Father, give me wisdom. Give me ideas, witty inventions. When COVID came, the people making PPEs, they made a fortune. Zoom made a fortune. <laughs> because now everybody needs to communicate online. You know me so. There is a wisdom that God can give you that will cause you to be laughing all the way to the bank in the season of famine and destruction. Somebody receive wisdom, receive wisdom, receive wisdom. So you see, when we are praying, eh, we don't just pray, Lord, give me house, give me car. No, no, no. What you need is wisdom to know what to do, to know what part of your business to expand. In fact, to know what business you should even enter into. Wisdom to know what subject you should study at the university or what kind of training you should get. Because a time is coming when your wisdom will be needed. So what you need is what? Wisdom. 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 When you go home, take your time and then read. Let me give you the scripture. Genesis chapter 47. From verse 13 downwards. 
Genesis chapter 47 from verse 13 downwards. If I let's read the verse 19 and 20. And then I'll, maybe I'll just end with this. We'll catch the other one another time. Wisdom. During the famine, famine, because Joseph had collected all the food, everybody now had to come to him for food. You know, so. They came to Joseph and said, Why should we die before your eyes? Both we and our land. Buy us and our land. Did you hear that? Buy us and our land for bread. What is a mansion when I'm starving? Take the mansion, give me food. Buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants of Pharaoh. Give us seed so that we may live and not die, that the land may not be desolate. When you go and finish reading that whole chapter, the Egyptians sold, in fact, they used all their money to buy food. When their money was finished, they told Joseph, Take all our cattle. So all the cattle became pharaohs. When the cattle got finished, they said, take us and our land. So all the land of the people became the land of Pharaoh. <laughs> you see how Joseph made Pharaoh a very rich man. And the one who makes Pharaoh a rich man is a very rich man. <laughs> eh? And at the end of that scripture, the Bible says that Joseph told the people, because the land is now for Pharaoh, Whatever work you do, whatever farming you do, whatever you do on the land, you will pay one fifth, 20%. You see income tax now. 20% you will pay it to Pharaoh. You see economics where it started. The wisdom of God in the mind of Joseph. What you will need to succeed in this life for your future so that you will laugh at famine and destruction is what? The wisdom of God. Somebody put your hand on your head and pray. Father, give me wisdom. The wisdom you gave Joseph. Is somebody praying at all? Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. 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 To outsmart the enemy. Wisdom. Wisdom. I'm going into farming, but I need wisdom. I'm going into prison, but I need wisdom. Lord, this ministry, I need wisdom. Makalia Kolomo. In my family life, I need wisdom. Makala Makata Yakoshe. Kemakala la 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 baha. If our generation will return prosperity to Ghana, will return prosperity to Ghana, Lord, I need wisdom. Somebody pray, wisdom. Alama. Wisdom is the seed that will cause you to laugh at famine, cause you to laugh. A distraction now, Makayada, because when distraction is coming, God will give you wisdom like Noah and say, Build an ark, hide in the ark. And as long as you are in the ark, the flood will not destroy you, everything outside the ark will be destroyed. But by the wisdom I give you, you and your family will be preserved. May your future be preserved by the wisdom of God. May your destiny be preserved by the wisdom of God. By your, may your family be preserved by the wisdom of God. Don't just contend for breakthrough, contend for wisdom. Because wisdom will bring every kind of breakthrough. Wisdom. Ask one more time. Father, give me wisdom. Open my eyes to see. Open my mind to understand. Give me visions of the future. Help me to understand the times and the seasons. That my actions will be wise. That my investments will be wise. That my studying will be wise. That my decisions and my choices will be wise. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. And may that wisdom cause you to laugh. In the name of Jesus. Makala makayadosha. Matala makata da 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 ba, makola makata ya da 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 ba, makala la 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 boche, makala la la ya kola la 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 masha, matali kapaya dosha. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Activate the wisdom of God. Rapali ya koshe, la brasa kala li yadoshe. As you are studying in school, God is giving you wisdom, wisdom, 
in the name of Jesus, as you are confronted with problems in your workplace, may God give you wisdom that will cause you to be promoted. Wisdom that will cause you to be prepared. Wisdom may your generation be one of wisdom. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Somebody pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost. The wisdom of God is what will cause you to be an overcomer. The wisdom of God will cause you to move from the back to the front in my heart by wisdom. When you stand before kings, by wisdom, overcome and overthrow the enemy. By wisdom, break boundaries. By wisdom, expand the kingdom. By wisdom, Make his name glorious. Somebody Somebody pray. Somebody cry out. You will laugh because of wisdom. You will laugh at coming. You will laugh at destruction because of wisdom. One more prayer, you see. You cannot afford to grow up and be 50 years old before you now prosper. No, no, no. God is raising young men young woman full of the wisdom of the holy ghost may you be one may you be one may you be one may you be one that by wisdom you will make an invention break through every cycle of poverty in the name of jesus is somebody receiving the word of god ah receive the wisdom of the holy ghost in your spirit Lift up your two hands. Thank God for wisdom. And thank Him for this season of laughter. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord He sits in heaven. And he's releasing gifts upon his children this morning. Receive the wisdom of God. Receive the wisdom of God. Receive the wisdom of God. It's good to pray. It's good to pray. As you pray, there's a divine exchange. Lift up your hands, thank God for his word. If you have received the key this morning, bless his name. Bless his name. He who sits in heaven, his name is Adonai. He will make you laugh. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord, that you delight in the rejoicing of your people. In this season, according to your word, we will see you turn again our captivity, O oh Lord. We will see the great and mighty things that you are doing in our lives. We will testify that the Lord has done great things for us and we are glad. The heathen will see and know that Adonai is Lord. 
I ask in the name of Jesus that the spirit of wisdom will be let loose upon your children. Wisdom for the ages. Wisdom, Lord, for the ages. Wisdom, Lord, for the ages. Wisdom for every situation. Wisdom for every famine. Wisdom for every situation of distraction. That, Lord, you will cause your children to laugh. You will cause them to have the upper hand. You will cause them to be rejoicing. You will cause them to be the voice of deliverance. You will cause them to be the voice of salvation. Saviors will arise out of Zion by wisdom. We receive it in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you that the spirit of joy and gladness envelops us right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, you will walk out of here with singing, with rejoicing, with gladness in your heart. I command every spirit of sorrow, leave. Let the spirit of laughter and rejoicing rest upon you because you are God's children. And as he has declared it, so let it be. Our season of laughter, our season of rejoicing, of singing, of gladness, and of peace. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord, forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And somebody rejoicing this morning. God will make you laugh. Grace up. You will know, laugh. Huh? You will come to my house laughing. To say, this is what the Lord has done. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah. ah. Hey, if you receive that word, you believe God, take an offering. Take an offering. Take a good offering. Do it unto the Lord. Do it unto the Lord. We are here with your tithe, any pledge, any pledge, any tithe. God bless you for your faithfulness. Just bring it to the altar. The Lord bless you. The Lord multiply his grace upon you. In this month of laughter, may you have laughter in your work. In the fruit of your hands, may you be established in the name of Jesus. Everybody lift up your offering before the Lord. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Receive it in Jesus' name. We sow it with thanksgiving. Let your laughter fill our mouths in Jesus' name. Amen. You want to come with dancing, with rejoicing as you drop your offering in Jesus' name. Let's stand to our feet. Let's stand to our feet very quickly. Who would have said? Ushers, direct us. Let's come who from the would back. Have said? Who would have said? Who would have said? Yeah. Who, who would have said? said? Everybody go. Who would have said? 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 You will laugh so hard. Who would have said? 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 That I will rejoice. Who would have said? Who would have said? That you will lift me so high. Oh, clap your hands. Who would have said? 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 Who would have said?
have said. Oh, may that be your testimony. Eh. Oh, but some of you too. Kakra na matina se ane. Moye moye mloa na. Musi si achi achi na. Stand 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 stand. Your mommy is standing. You are sitting down. Eh. But you see, even our mother prophetess said it. That when we come for offering, after you have sold your offering, don't sit. Stay standing, stay singing, stay rejoicing. Hallelujah. That's the culture that we want to build. And we are young people. Never say die. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. All right, please be seated. Very quick announcement. Have you been blessed this morning? Now when we are talking laughter, do you understand? You will laugh. Tell somebody you will laugh. You will laugh. You will laugh. You will laugh. You will laugh in victory. And you will laugh because of the great things that God has done. Well, next week we are getting a very important uh, visitor to the shofar assembly. If I not a visitor to Fountain Gate Chapel, he used to be a youth leader many years ago. He's one young man that God has lifted and he does a lot of things. And I am excited that he will be coming to Shofar Assembly. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So next week, the 21st, our big brother, uncle, Mr. Sami Osei, will be here in the house. Hallelujah! Oh, if I, you will enjoy him, cry. Uh, and he's trying to talk about nothing else than shine. Hey, you will carry something. Tell somebody, don't miss church next week. So I want you to come. Come early. Let's come fired up. Uh, true worshipers, you know how we do it. Next week, fire and quam. But we are here. And he has been designed to come to visit us for a very long time. I know he carries a grace. He carries a grace. A very, very serious man in the corporate world. And when we'll be sharing a lot more about him um, all throughout the week um, on the page. We want to make sure you prepare. Come with a friend. Tell those who couldn't make it to church today that next week they don't miss it. So next week, our brother Samuel Sai will be here. And I know that it's going to be a serious time of blessing. Hallelujah. Are you happy about that? Are you happy about that? All right. All right. And then on the 28th, We'll be doing something new, something new in the house. So look out for that. We'll talk more about that next week um, as well. Um, yes, I think those are all the announcements from me. You can see that I'm very happy. I I'm happy because of what God is about to do in your life. I I'm happy because I can see that by the time I'm able to you because I'm able to be you, because maybe not, maybe 90 or no, baby. By that time, the, the movers and the shakers, I'll be like, hey, Charlie, these are the people who are moving and shaking things. So I am rejoicing at the great things that the Lord is doing in your life. Hallelujah. If you're excited about that, put your hands together. We want to receive our host to close the service, the one and only Charity Kasua from Paul. Give it up for her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, what a powerful service. Indeed, he who sits in heaven laughs. And that's why the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Aquile. God richly bless you and may he increase you in the anointing. Amen. Do we have people joining us for service for the very first time on a Sunday? Kindly give us a wave. If today is your first time joining us for service, please give us a wave. Okay, let's be upstanding. We'll be having teaching assembly this Wednesday, and so we are encouraging you all to be part. And if you can't make it, kindly join online, and your life will not be the same. Amen. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Our confession. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. Make us as lie down in green pastures. Restore. Restore us as we pass in the path of righteousness for him. There's the valley of the shadow of death. 
chafu yenu hivi the presence of my enemy thou anointest me with oil my cup runs over surely shall dwell in the house ever amen amen have a blessed week filled with laughter